In this video, we'll see some examples of how to solve equations that involve absolute values. Let's start with a simple example. We want to solve the equation the absolute value of x equals 4. So what values of x could we put into the absolute value in order to get that result? Well, certainly the absolute value of 4 is 4, but based on the way absolute values work, we also know that the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And so that means that the possibilities are that x equals 4 or x equals negative 4. So that wasn't so bad. What happens if there's something else inside the absolute values? We want to solve the equation the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 4. Well, just like before, there are two possibilities. One possibility is that the thing inside the absolute value bars is just 4 itself, in which case the absolute values aren't doing anything. But the other possibility is that the thing inside the absolute value bars is actually negative 4, in which case the absolute value is getting rid of that negative sign and producing the result of 4. So once again, we're going to have two solutions. If I add 3 to both sides, I get x equals 7. And here, if I add 3 to both sides, I get x equals negative 1. So as long as you remember that absolute values give us these two possibilities, you'll be OK. Let's do one more example. Solve the equation the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 5 equals 4. Well, here it's a little bit trickier to know what to do with those absolute values because of the negative 5. So let's add 5 to both sides so that this looks like the previous example. On the left-hand side, the minus 5 and the 5 cancel, and we just get absolute value of x minus 3 equals 9. And then we can do this just like the previous example. We have two possibilities. One is that the thing inside the absolute values is just 9, and the other is that the thing inside the absolute values is minus 9. In this case, we get the solution x equals 12, and in this case, we get the solution x equals negative 6. And that's it.